mentioned uh, Louisville has the capability of being a really good team. They have on with teams, uh, Texas, Indiana. But what specifically, especially in their backcourt, what specifically have you seen from them uh, that, that maybe can be on the lookout for? Yeah, they're super aggressive. Um, they've got good guards that are getting to the basket no matter what. They're not going to let anything stop them from getting to the basket, getting to the foul line. So we got to be sure just just stay guard our man and just try not to put them on the line. But I mean, they're they're really they're all really really good players and they and they're just they're just going to keep getting better and better every game they play and they're going to be super pumped um, to come out and play us and the crowd's going to be loud. It's going to be a fun game. Have you played any of their, any of the local players, I mean AAU or high school? Mm, I played against one of them. Um, we, we played together a little bit in AAU, and then we played uh, against each other. Um, he's a good player. Uh, Caleb Glenn. Yeah, yeah. so we, we played together for a couple of years in AAU, and then I played against him in uh, AAU in high school growing up just because he's from uh, Kentucky as well. Reed, your parents come to a lot of these games, pretty much every game. I feel like they get on TV a lot. Um, your mom's always cheering, your dad's right next to her. What's that like to have them kind of become a, a known, two known people to people outside BBN and, and just have them there all the time? Yeah, it's cool. Um, but for me, they've, they've been that way my whole life. You know, they've been to every single game. They've always been supportive and cheering um, for me and the team. It, it's not just starting now that I'm at Kentucky. Um, so for them, I still just see my mom and dad. Like I don't look at them as anything different now, um, just because everyone else is starting to uh, look at them um, that way. But to me, I've seen them my whole life, and they're just being who they are. And you've probably been asked this before, but I was kind of I was over there. Being a Kentucky native, <coughs> has it set in yet that you're playing in your first rivalry game? Um, it has. Um, you know, I'm excited. Um, I, I think it'll be a really, really fun game. It'll be a really cool atmosphere. Being able to play at Louisville against Louisville as a freshman um, is really, really cool, especially growing up um, in Kentucky, knowing how big the rival the rival is. Um, obviously, he mentioned your parents coming. Do you have any other family members coming tomorrow um, for the game? Yeah, I think I think I got a lot. Um, I think most of my family's trying to make it to this one, so it'll be really cool. Reed, what's the biggest difference that you guys have seen with Ugo and Aaron back versus before when they were still sitting on the bench? Um, well, the big thing is in practice, it's a little harder to shoot layups. Um, you know, in, in practice before, you could get some by somebody and just go just go shoot a normal layup. And we've had a few try to do that uh, in practice. And then you got Ugo coming over and you got Aaron coming over and just send it into the wall. So it's a little, it's a little different. But, uh, you know, it's really, really nice having them out there. Especially knowing like how much they knew, uh, like knowing how much they could have helped us when they were on the sideline, and knowing how much they wanted to get back on the court and were working. So finally, them being back um, is really really cool. Does that make your ball movement on offense have to be even better because you're running into literal roadblocks when you get into the key and get inside the paint? I mean, they they understand how we're playing, so they're they're not gonna do anything to stop the way that we're playing, and it's actually better for us because anytime we get to the goal if we shoot a layup you know now we have someone that can go just dunk it or get the rebound every time or we go in and they help we can throw a lob so they're they know exactly what to do and um, how to help our offense. Looking back on the North Carolina game what can you take from that game going into tomorrow? Yeah um, a big thing would be just the fight I think we fought all 40 minutes the crowd was into it and I think the crowd will be just like that for the Louisville game. Um, so we're going to have to come together as a team and keep talking, get in huddles, um, and listen to each other and talk to each other about different plays and what we're going to do ahead because, you know, you won't always be able to look over and hear what the coaches have to say. Um, and then just fighting through the game. You know, they're going to make a run, um, just like North Carolina made a run, and we were able to just come back together and just keep fighting through that and just play, keep playing together as a team. You mentioned the crowd. How much of a factor is that to you personally? Um, to me, it's really, really cool. Um, you know, having a crowd yell the whole time is really, really cool. Just knowing, like, no matter what, they're going to yell because it's half Kentucky, half North Carolina, and tomorrow will be, like, half Kentucky, half Louisville. So, like, it'll be really cool. No matter what you do, you miss a shot, you make a shot, someone's going to be yelling. So it's, it's pretty cool uh, having the crowd yelling the whole game and standing up and just cheering for the game. 
What do you guys learn about yourself in these close moments where someone makes a run, comes a close game, and y'all have to finish it in the fourth quarter, the, the second half, sorry? Yeah, I mean, we learned that we can do it. Um, you know, we we learned from games in the past, and we were able to come together and stick together as a team and get us, like, get a stop and come down and make a basket. Like, we knew we, what we needed to do. Um, I think down the stretch we, we, took, um, we took better shots than we had before, and we were able to just, just come together as a team and just stay locked in and follow the game plan, and, and it worked out. So every game is obviously a big game, but tomorrow's in-state rival. How's the vibe in practice so far this week? Um, it's been, you know, for Crystal, you know, getting ready for tomorrow's game. You know, we, the main focus is, you know, not underestimating, you know, what they can do. You know, obviously they're a pretty good team. You know, they've been struggling, you know. But, you know, we still got to practice like, you know, like they're really good, like they could beat us, you know. So the main focus is really, you know, getting ready for tomorrow's game. Hugo, last game, getting your first minutes and of the season, just how did that feel to finally be out there and have everything just off your shoulders with all the expectations of when you're coming back? Um, it was very good, you know, especially being out for six months, you know. So every day during my rehab, it's all about, you know, games like, you know, yesterday's. Um, games like um, the last game with um, against UNC. Um, so I was really happy that I could, you know, be on the floor for the first time in so many months, and I just have to, you know, being able be able to connect with my teammates more because you know they've been playing like they way ahead of me. So what I'm working on now is, you know, building that team chemistry with, uh, with my teammates. But overall, I'm really happy that I'm back. I'm playing. What did you learn about yourself during the six months? That must have been just a really hard experience for you. Um, being able to grow, you know, because sometimes things don't go your way, you know, the way you expect it to go. So what are you going to do if things don't go your way? You know, how mature are you to, you know, adapt to everything that is in front of you and then you know, how are you going to work towards, you know, being a better person in that situation? So, you know, being able to grow has been, you know, a big part of my journey this past um, six months. The bond of this team kind of seems inseparable. You kind of talked about get, building that chemistry back. Has, with how close this team is, has it been hard to get that chemistry back or has it kind of just came in naturally? I mean, it's coming in naturally, you know. The, um, the kind of people we are off the floor reflects to, you know, how we are when we play. So it's not, I mean, it's just getting that chemistry while playing with them. That's what I'm trying to, you know, get, because they've been playing for a long time now and I'm just getting back in. So I'm just, you know, working towards, you know, building that chemistry with them. And it's not going to take time. It's not going to take time. So we've obviously heard about the seven footer group chat. How, how did they react to your game, um, first game back? Oh, they were very happy for me, you know, getting my first block. Like, they were really happy for me because, you know, they expect me to do, to do that, but, you know, how quick I did it during the game, like, you know, how fast I reacted to um, the play was really amazing. They were really happy for me because but because they were talking about it for a very long, like, a long time. I mean, I think they're still talking about it now. So, I think... Um, you know, it's pretty amazing having that kind of people, you know, as my teammates. So obviously over the past six months, I mean, last year you had some playing time, but what is, what is the number one thing that you worked on these past six months while getting healthy? Um, you know, being stronger, you know. I was in the weight room a lot because um, I didn't have, that was the only thing I could really do during my injury. So I use that time to, you know, get stronger. 
we've seen Aaron's transformation with the Kentucky effect. Do you think your transformation was kind of the same as his? Oh yeah, it was. It was. It was. I lived in the red room the past this past six months. So yeah, it really was. What was it like being on that program? At the the weight program? Yeah, with with the weightlifting and, and was nutrition a bigger emphasis too? Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, it definitely was because I didn't eat as much last year, but you know, this injury that I had gave me the opportunity to see things from a different angle. You know, lifting, eating, you know, it had a big um, impact on um, my growth. How does it feel to see that silver lining now versus when you first got injured and you probably had a lot of different thoughts? Um, it feels good, you know, to be one of the biggest guys, you know, in the team. Like, I'm happy that I'm the way I am now because of the injury. But other than that, really, yeah. What do you see from Lou 